welcome back to the channel it's me no and today's video me taking a nice race at watkins Glen. it's one of the so only few tracks in the game i opted to go with i can come to me qualify first remain um, first for the duration of the normally race I would and also go with um, the hard tire just try to with stay in engine cars that has a bit of power at the back sometimes in corners the rear just you know gets away from you so to compensate for the rear end sliding about a bit i think the sometimes the hard tire is good and this is one of my most prized ugly liveries i'm very proud of that to be honest and for once i have a decent start not as decent compared to other people that can start better but decent for me um, and i really thought going into going into this is bent um i was gonna make a, a some contact on the wall there but lucky for me i saved it a bit and I was just hoping like get past the Zucania like safely at least um, because the driver at the back is 0.9 behind me so he is still in slipstream distance but I would like it for him to be at least a second maybe a second or more behind me but the tough part about this is it's very difficult for me especially in this race to actually get um, out of the slipstream of that guy but I was just thinking to myself nope focus on doing your own race instead of trying to um, instead of trying to be all over the place by um, trying to block people or cut people off because it, it won't matter if the other guy is a better driver so just take the race is you know make it your own race instead of trying to be um, defensive or trying to wear out the tires and break hard break late um, go down to first gear much and then spin out of corners because even though you do put traction control on, sometimes what makes the, the cars so overpowered is that they break the traction control settings. So I managed to survive the first lap in first place still with no penalties. And I could have done the chicane better, but it was good enough. I still kept my my gap on second place driver every time he pops up on the radar i get a bit jittery because i'm thinking to myself like i what i said earlier don't get defensive but then i tend to push myself to go defensive like moving on the braking kind of things and i know as a mixer stepping fan he loves doing that <laughs> so i was like you know what if it works with the champ it can work for you as well so me and second place driver we are making a nice gap um on the rest of the pack essentially so it's just the two of us driving in front and i thought to myself like this is where he is going to overtake me like on a serious note but somehow he got close enough but he didn't he didn't take it just trying to maintain some speed as i go through this as he pops onto the radar for me oh no there is no such thing as 
defending cleanly because now that happened to him because I decided my first place is better <laughs> him overtaking me because well deserved penalty but I knew for a fact there was like no way no way I was saying that if he did overtake me that I could re-overtake him again I knew that for a fact because without being challenged right now and I still made a mistake on the grass a bit and so now second place has um second place just has time on me now to essentially catch up to me and if he stays in this distance he will, he will take first place bumping me like that was unfortunate getting that penalty on the end is where I go BS on this game on a serious note skip a bit forward this the s band here is honestly where I think if you can actually have a nice flow through the section like the back straight is yeah you can get into a nice slipstream you can uh, sometimes reach your top end speed which is very very nice um, and yeah I just made a mess of myself again what the normal catching up to me or is it just normal in the in this case and my mind already is like defend and the guy bumping me is the, is the guy I took out defensively in the second round second lap and then he made a fucky waki that's not on me luckily I didn't get a penalty for that as well but I do feel that my defense was a bit unnecessary but I also felt like he could see me not trying to give him space um, he could have slowed down a bit I do not justify my actions but the thing is at the start of the video I was very very cocky in saying that I can comfortably win this from first and remain first and then a stupid two stupid penalties one deserving and one undeserving actually made me lose out of but this was a fun race I personally enjoy racing here on Watkins Glen it is one of my favorite tracks in the game I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you watched up until now give me some dislikes for the fact that I took that guy out it is a racing incident as people would say but at the end, at the end of the day I got my penalty I got the, I got what I deserved by taking out or pushing that guy sideways a bit so yeah, like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys with some more Forza Motorsport content very very soon.